Policy Feedback and the Politics of the Affordable Care Act, Article Review. The article under analysis is written by Bieland et al. and entitled Policy Feedback and the Politics of the Affordable Care Act. The article was published in the Policy Studies Journal, which addresses diverse public policy issues in 2019. Bieland et al. argue that the Affordable Care Act is characterized by self-reinforcing and self-undermining feedback that has both positive and negative effects on its implementation in terms of conservative restructuring. The authors state that the ACA failed to gain popular support, so self-reinforcing feedback was weak, while self-undermining feedback was rather influential but insufficient. Bieland et al. mentioned that self-undermining feedback included a lasting immature period of the act territorial and institutional fragmentation, and opacity as the benefits of the legislation were not made clear. Ironically, benefits visibility over time is one of the foundations of self-reinforcing feedback as the favorable outcomes of the law became understood in several years, but Republicans failed to provide a feasible alternative. The associated economic benefits that were apparent on the state level made a considerable part of the state support the ACA. Bieland et al. argue that self-reinforcing feedback was belated and insufficient to address self-undermining feedback and gain the capacity to be implemented properly. The authors conclude that the analysis of the self-reinforcement and self-undermining feedback associated with the ACA shows the relevance of both aspects compared to the focus on one type of feedback. Bieland et al. also suggest that feedback is not the only factor affecting the implementation process as policy design and interest group environment are influential as well. It is necessary to note that the authors of the article under consideration have sufficient knowledge and expertise to analyze the issue, and their conclusions have a high degree of relevance. Daniel Bieland holds the Canada Research Chair in Public Policy at the Johnson Shoyama Graduate School of Public Policy and the other two researchers are an assistant professor, Philip Rocco, and associate professor, Alex Wadan, in political science and politics. The authors provide a well-organized article with rich and valid arguments that are evidence-based. Each point is considered in detail, and clear conclusions are given at the end. The authors utilize an effective methodology as they use the framework that has been validated by other researchers who have analyzed policies. The outcomes of the ACA have also been mentioned, and these findings are consistent with the existing research on the matter. For instance, Bieland et al. state that the economic impact has been an influential factor. Who et al. also claim that the financial effects of the ACA have been considerable, including a decrease in debt collection. NOAC et al. concentrate on people's financial well-being and federal spending claiming that healthcare became more affordable for many families. Importantly, Bieland et al. pay significant attention to the reactions of state governments regarding this aspect as an influential factor affecting feedback. Duggan et al. also state that states responded differently to the legislation under study. The findings provided by Bieland et al. concerning public support that was mixed are supported by the conclusions Mechanic and Olfson make. It is important to add that the utilized evidence is relevant and updated. Bieland et al. traced the feedback towards the ACA from 2010 to this day. The authors refer to diverse sources that are valid and up-to-date, which makes the article relevant. Every point made by the researchers is well-supported and properly explained, which makes the argumentation effective and accurate. Bieland et al. were successful in making their point as they analyzed different aspects of positive and negative feedback and explained the way it affected the implementation of the policy. The authors also mentioned that other factors also had an impact on the outcomes of the ACA, which shows that they use a comprehensive approach and pay attention to the most influential components. Since the focus of the research was on feedback, these elements are mentioned briefly. The interaction between these aspects can become a matter of further inquiry that will enrich the existing literature. In conclusion, the article in question provides valuable insights into the effects self-reinforcement and self-undermining feedback have on the ACA. The authors provide accurate data that is supported by other studies, and the influence of feedback is vivid in terms of the effectiveness of the legislation in question. The implementation of the policy in different states and the attitudes of diverse interest groups show the exact relevance of each type of feedback.
the inability of Republicans to repeal the act and the negative aspects of this legislation led to its insufficient acceptance and mixed outcomes. The ACA remains one of the most controversial policies that give rise to debates that are deeply rooted in the feedback. The findings of this article can be seen as a framework for the analysis of other policies that have been enacted or those that can be potentially developed.